Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Today's topic is dating lessons can be a good thing. Now, we all sit there and say to ourselves, you know, this dating crap out there right now is so annoying. It's repetitive, people aren't contacting, they're ghosting, they're doing all this stuff that's just really, really frustrating. Now, I dated a lot back in the day. And I did this because I wanted to be able to say that I experienced a lot of different situations. At the end of the day, a great relationship is when you meet somebody who's an extension of who you already are, not necessarily an opposite. So I tried all these different things and I started to get really discouraged. I got a little depressed for a while because I kept meeting these guys that were actually not really that nice. Some of them were a little bit mean to me. And I would go, I mean, I'd stand up for myself at the time, but I'd go home and I'd be really bummed out about it because I thought, why am I attracting these men? Why am I attracting guys that will talk to me like this? It's because of what I was putting out at the time. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was something I needed to learn about myself. I was allowing myself to be treated this way by certain people. Maybe it was because I had self-doubt. I didn't have the confidence level that I do now. And so I was letting all these people in that weren't right for me. And so what was happening is I was having repetitive, not necessarily drama, but repetitive things that didn't work out. I needed to have better boundaries. So my life lessons in the dating scenario over many years was to respect myself first, to bring people towards me that were a good fit. And also, when you have your life in order and things are going well, you have a purpose, you have goals and aspirations that you want to maintain or, or achieve, once you have those going in your life, it is a lot easier to meet the right people because you're in that mindset. And when you're in the mindset of being happy and being in a place that brings you value, brings you joy, you are going to meet people that are similar to that. It's just kind of the way it works. It's very cool, actually. Every person you date is there for you to learn something from or for you to teach them. It's a two-way street sometimes, right? You might be the stronger person and they needed you to teach them something. You might have said something to them that really put them in their place, but changed up the way they're gonna be for the rest of their life. And that's a good thing all around. So whether, regardless of whose lesson is being learned here, it's still something that if you pay attention to, will change your life. Each time you experience something, you're going to get more and more out of it. It's like going from kindergarten to, to grade 12. You learn different things along the pathway. You're not holding on to stuff from kindergarten, you're moving up, but you still have the foundation from what you learned from a long time ago. So those lessons are gonna be a part of your foundation to get to the next step. So don't be upset when you have a drought or you have a thing like I had where I had like about five different people that were just not super kind to me and then I realized it was me. I was putting off a, a, a confidence level that needed a little bit of work and I was allowing people to treat me this way. So it's always important to have boundaries and to respect who you are and to give people a chance but don't just date anybody. Get to know them first a little bit watch who they are, listen to who they are. Don't just go out because you got asked out. Give yourself time and energy to be put into places that are better fit for you. You'll figure it out. It takes time. And don't get, say to yourself, I'm never gonna date again because I just don't know how. Take some time out like I did. Get to know yourself and then put yourself back out there again. Because when your life is going really smooth and it's great and you've got all your ducks in a row, here comes the big swan right into your world. And it works. It happened to me. I met a wonderful man and I've been very happily married. Um, and I didn't know that would ever happen to me again. But I put it out there and allowed it to happen. Thanks everyone for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue. Appreciate you subscribing. Love it. Thanks for all my new people that have joined uh, my channel here on YouTube. And leave your comments below any questions you have. DearCyberSue at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.